hello guys welcome back to special creations by nelly on today's video i'm going to show you how to make this cute ice cream cart and it could also be a candy cart and so much more for any birthday party decorations so please if you haven't subscribed to my channel now is the time to do so well i will be posting every week a new video so if you want to get notified every time i post make sure to hit the little bell button so you can get notified every time i post a new video so the first thing you will need is four boxes, um, 14 by 14 by 12. One, um, for these boxes, you're going to go ahead and tape it all around it. And then you're going to go ahead and grab one of the boxes and put it on top of the other one. And then you're just going to go ahead and tape it all the way around. Make sure um, to line them up straight so it could be level up. So then after that, you're just going to go ahead and continue taping all the way around so they don't they stay in place just like that. After you may set up two together, you're just going to go ahead and grab two of them and put it on top of the other two, just like that. And you're going to go ahead and make sure they are lined them up um, straight um, after, before you put the tape. Then once you line them up, just go ahead and um, attach it with the tape all around it. Make sure to do it all around it in different directions so it can hold in place perfectly fine, just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and tape it all around it just like that. Then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab two foam boards from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to line them up together and make sure they're straight like that. Then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my tape and tape it together just like that. Then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my measuring tape. And I'm going to just um, measure the size, which is 25 inches by 28.5. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, mark it down on my foam board just like that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make the straight line so it could guide me where I need to cut out the foam board ad so I'm just gonna go ahead after I mark it down I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out just like that then after I cut it out I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other size like that measure it and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark it down just like that and this one I'm cutting 28.5 inches down and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, line them up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my knife and cut it out just like that then after I'm done cutting all my pieces out I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my foam board and see how it looks and looks perfect and that's the perfect size but be after that i'm just going to go ahead and grab my measuring tape again and i'm just going to go ahead and measure which is 14 inches by 25 and remember that each box is a different size so it depends on the size just go ahead and measure and type and follow your guy and this is what i'm just going to go ahead and continue doing just measuring the size and cut it out for each size of the boxes so you have to measure the size of your boxes and then cut it out cut it out from there just like that, you're going to continue doing that until you do the whole box, measuring and cut it out until you do the whole thing so you can create your table. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and continue cutting all my sizes until I'm done. Then once I'm done, you can see that it's perfectly, if it perfectly fine, just like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my hot glue and I'm going to put um, hot glue all around it just like that. Make sure you put enough hot glue because I put a little bit and didn't attach as, uh, as fast as I wanted to. So make sure to put a lot of hot glue and then just go ahead and press it down so it can attach perfectly fine. Then I went ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and continue putting the top um, on the of the foam board. Remember, you're going to continue doing this until you do the whole box. Um, just gonna go ahead and continue putting hot glue and attaching it to the box just like that and this is how the box is looking so far and then the other side I'm just gonna continue doing on the other side I'm gonna continue doing the same thing that I was doing just um, continue putting hot glue and attaching it just like that then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this wrapping paper but I'm gonna take the inside of the wrapping paper and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out just like that and this is what I'm going to use what I'm gonna do next is take some wrapping paper and wrap it all the way around so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this part out just like that then you're gonna go ahead and grab it and wrap it all the way around just like that and grab a few tape and then attach it together 
after you're done um, uh, wrapping it all the way around just go ahead and put some hot glue on top make sure to put some on the table as well and make sure to put enough glue then just go ahead and place it on top of your table just like that then I went ahead and grabbed two pieces of this foam board. These are the same size of the of the top of the table, which is 25 inches by 14. And then you're just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue at the edges of the foam board, and you're gonna place it on top just like that, just like that to hold it in place. Then I went ahead and grabbed two circles and I'm just going to put it um, at the bottom. These are going to be my wheels. For this one, at the end of the day, I grabbed two more circles and placed it in there. Then I went ahead and grabbed her name and I'm just going to use some double-sided tape and attach her name to the foam board um, just like that. Um, if you would like these cutouts, um, you can find them at my shop. I will be placing that there. So then I went ahead and grabbed some tissue paper from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and unfold it just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. After I fold it in half, I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissor and cut it through it almost to the end. But not all the way to the end. And so I'm just going to go ahead and continue cutting it until I do the whole thing. Once I'm done with the whole thing, I'm just going to go ahead and open them up and I'm going to take my scissor and cut it out through the middle just like that. And I'm going to put some tape and I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my um, candy cart just like that. Then I went ahead and did this cute cutout for unicorn ice cream and I think they came out super cute and I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my foam board. If you would like to get this ice cream um, unicorn cutout, I will also put this on my Etsy shop. So please, um, I will put the link down below so you can also check that out. So then I'm just going to go ahead and continue attaching all the unicorn um, to the foam board just like that. This is how beautiful everything turns out. It looks super cute. I cannot wait to show you how everything is going to come along. This is a new birthday party decoration that is coming up that I'm doing. And I can't wait to show you how everything will turn out. So please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you want to see how everything will turn out. Remember this um, ice cream car, you could also, it could be a candy car. It could be for anything, any party decorations. I think it will look super cute. You could put your little touch to it and it will look amazing. Thanks again for watching Special Creations by Nelly.